Welcome to the SolidCAM University channel. This video's topic is the mirror function. So you may have seen the mirror transform function in the transform section of SolidCAM. This is actually a new function for 2016 that exists in the simple right-click menu right here. And uh, basically what it does is it is a true mirror function and it's useful for all our toolpaths. So we're going to review that real quick. So I actually have two toolpaths already applied to this part. I have a 3D eye machining and a simple profile operation there. Now, um, I'm going to actually make a left side or right side, depending on how you're looking at this, version of this part. So I'm actually going to suppress the left side toolpath. And we're going to start purely with the right side programming. OK, so how does the mirror function actually work? Well. Let's start with that profile operation. So I'll go to mirror, and this is the mirror function window. Start with choosing where we'd like to put that transform function. So uh, we either have the option of placing the mirrored toolpath immediately after the parent's toolpath, or we can place it at the very end of the operations tree. This is more of just your order of operations where you'd like this to be. So in this scenario, I'm actually going to, in, I'm intending to actually put all my mirrored operations at the very end. But I'll show you how this works for both. But basically, they're both going to be at the end anyway. So we'll just choose at the end of the operation tree here. Next is where we're actually mirroring this about. So you actually need to choose a face or a plane to mirror the functions. In this case, I'll just go with one of these uh, these basic ones here, the X, the XZ, the YZ, the XY, or coordinate. All of these are really just choosing which face that's already existing you'd like to mirror this about. So for instance, let's go with the, the XY, okay? And then place uh, coordinate system at is basically this mirrored function could either be in the same coordinate system as the original one, so in this case, my Mac one position one, or I can choose another one. So for this one, let's just actually just leave it as use coordinate system, current coordinate system. So if I click OK, we'll see that I've actually mirrored that by the X, the XZ plane, or the YZ plane in this case. OK, so that was just the simple profile. Now, what if I wanted to completely flip it in the same space? Well, I could use a plane that I previously defined when I went to my feature manager. So that plane right there represents the mid plane of the part. So if I flip my operations, I'm actually flipping it to the right side, left side, depending on what you're talking about, right in space there. Okay, and we'll do that with the 3D eye machining. So again, I'll right click on the 3D eye machining. I'll go to mirror. Okay, again, I'll play that, place it at the very end of the tree. This time, I'm actually gonna go to select plane. This actually allows me to choose either a face on the part or my actual plane. In this case, I'm going to choose my actual plane. So with select, select plane, I'm basically choosing any face or plane that I'm going to mirror this operation about. And then I'm actually going to place this origin, or place the coordinate system, on a new Mac position. And I previously created my, uh, my Mac 2, so it's already there. If not, it would have created one for me. Okay, if I click OK on that, let that calculate. Because all the previous operations on this part were suppressed, and we're in Mac 2, now we can see it actually has generated the toolpath for the right side. Okay, So it's very simple use, but it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very powerful tool that we have inside SolidCAM. Any other questions, you can always call us the main text support line at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2, or you can watch the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.